Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone. It's a breezy and loud day today. There's people doing construction, kids playing all around, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. Today, I'm gonna show you that you can fly the Mavic Air with the old DJI goggles, the original goggles, OG. So stay tuned and we'll check it out. So while I've had the Mavic Air for a while now, I haven't flown it with the DJI goggles yet. And it's something I love doing with my Mavic Pro, so I thought I really need to try it with the Mavic Air and see what the experience is. I know it can be done, and I know there are two things you need in order to do it. Number one, you need to update the firmware on the goggles. Now to do that, it's pretty simple. You go to DJI.com, you find the product page for the goggles, you download DJI Assistant to your computer for the Mac or the PC, you install it, and then you run it. And you run it uh, with the goggles plugged in to your computer. Now they plug in via a USB cable right over here. This is also the same place they charge. And they will actually show up in your computer under DJI Assistant. You click update the firmware. I had never updated the firmware on these, so they were still the original firmware that I had when they got it. So it was probably a good thing I did it anyway. And it shouldn't take more than 10, 15 minutes to do. And once you've updated the firmware, uh, you should be ready to go. Now, the second thing you need is just the standard micro USB cable. So the micro USB, the small end, plugs in right here to your goggles. There's a little slot, it's the same place you use to charge it. And then the larger end actually plugs in to your remote control. There is a full size USB port. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to unfold these to do it. You can plug it in right there. I actually don't even have my phone with me right now, so I'm gonna try flying these things only with the goggles, not using my phone at all, and see how that goes. So once you've updated the firmware on the goggles, plug the remote into the goggles, turn everything on, and you should see a signal. So let's see how that goes. I did test this at home before I came out here, but I haven't actually flown yet. So I'm gonna turn on my Mavic Air and set it down where it can see some satellites. You always wanna make sure your, uh, your drone is out in the open uh, so that it can actually get good satellite feed. So, Turn on the remote. As I said, I'm not even using the phone. I'm gonna wait for the little green light to pop up. Right now it's blinking red. Once it's green, that means there's a connection between the remote and the actual quad. Up oh, there it's green, if you can see it. Set that down for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the goggles. Uh, these goggles do take a while to charge, but they also hold a pretty good battery life for such a good size screen and bright screen. So uh, I charged them last night to make sure they would be fully charged for today's adventure. Gonna plug in my USB port here and plug it in down here. And let's take a look and see. Whoops, being careful not to accidentally push too many buttons, which I always do. And I've got a live view, ready to go, GPS. It is that simple. Um, it's pretty awesome because you don't have to go hunting or anything. It knows once you plug it in that, oh, I should give you a live signal. Now, my quad has probably got enough satellites. However, I just noticed that it's sitting in some deep grass, so I'm gonna go put it on something so I can take off without damaging the propellers and take it for a little, take it for a little spin. All right, so I suppose I have to hit the record button down here on the actual remote control, which is upper left. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and record. Spin up the props. And take off. Now I'm curious to see what the um, I'm curious to see what the uh, okay I just stopped recording started recording again 
I'm curious to see what the actual um, flight experience is like. With OcuSync, there is no lag. It is just crystal clear, super smooth, and so far it's that way with, uh, with this guy too. And I'm just curious to see if that changes with a little distance. So let's see, I am uh, 30 meters up, that's 100 feet. And I am, let me go ahead and uh, cruise over there towards those baseball fields. Where am I? Oh, I'm right. Right there, you can see my arm waving. I might have to go that way a little bit for you to be able to see that. Now you should be able to see my arm. No, that's not me. Oh, there I am. I'm under that under that cover. There is Austin, Texas. I'm getting a live view at 720p, 30 frames per second. So it is dumbing it down a little bit from uh, the original or the 1080 that it's being recorded at. I'm gonna actually stop and take a photo. Go back to video. Very meta as I fly and observe myself. Now here's the question. Can I thread the needle here? Uh, can I thread the needle, go through that doorway, make it through that passage? using the goggles. Yes, I can. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you have comments about flying the air with the goggles, please leave those comments in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply. Thanks for watching Ready, Set, Drone, and we will see you next time.